Hi everyone, welcome to a Y Thrive Pro workout. My name is Mike, I'm gonna be taking you through the class today. What I need you to have available is obviously a nice open clear workspace uh, for us to do some exercises, but I'm gonna show with a sandbag. What I need you to have is like, if you have a backpack that you can put a few books or cans or something like that in, or if you're lucky enough to have a set of dumbbells, you could just use a set of dumbbells. We'll have two or three movements using those objects today. So pause the video now, get that equipment, and then come back and join me when you're ready, okay? All right, let's get warmed up. Start by just squatting, nice and small. Doesn't have to be too deep. So you'll notice when we squat, we bring the hips down and back. We don't wanna shoot those knees forward. So down and back, looking up, looking forward. Yeah, there you go. Give me three more. Perfect. Now let's lunge forward, just small though, don't sink too deep, and then just twist to one side. Come back to the start, perfect. Now the other side, great. Perfect. Let's do one more on each side. Okay, great. Now let's do a nice wide stance, and I just want you to reach down towards the opposite foot. So right arm is going to go down towards the left foot, left arm is going to go right towards the right. Just come until you feel a gentle stretch. This shouldn't hurt. It doesn't have to be super fast. Last one right here. Good, let's make some arm circles. So for today, each exercise we're gonna do for 30 seconds. And then I'm gonna give you little breaks in between each exercise and we'll go to new exercises. Okay, so it's called circuit training when you do every single exercise in an order and then you come back to the top. So that's what we're gonna do today. One time through each movement and then we'll come back and we'll do each one a second time, okay? All right, reversing, going in the other direction. And give me 10 jumping jacks. Good. All right, whenever you're ready, I want you to just have a clear space. We're gonna use that backpack or bag or dumbbells that you have. And we're gonna do 30 seconds of squatting. I'm gonna hold it up front. You can even just wear the backpack. If that's what you have available to you. And just give me a nice deep squat. So it looks like this from the side. Don't rush them. Try to get as deep as you can where you can still stand upright and keep a nice arch in your back. I don't want you to look like that, okay? Nice and tall. Okay, great. Set that bag down. Create a little more space for ourselves. We're gonna crab walk now, okay? We're gonna crab walk in a square. So you're gonna crab walk forward, then come across. Join me whenever you're ready. Crawl back, and then to the side. So that's our square, right? You're working hard, I can tell. That's great. I'm proud of you. Keep up the great work. Okay, relax. Coming up to standing, you have a few seconds to transition, so don't rush. I'm gonna have you touch the floor and then jump up to the sky. Okay, so it looks like this. Join me, let's go. If that's too hard, you can always just reach up and touch down, okay? But if you can, give me a nice big jump in there, okay? Go, 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 you can do it. 10 seconds. Come on. Yes, you got it. Boom, all right. Quick little breather. And then we're gonna transition to a bear crawl. I'm just gonna show it going front and back. But you can move any way you want, really. So bear crawl just looks like this. 
and I can show you sideways so you can see it. If you need it to be a little easier, you can bring your bum a little higher. But your hardest option is like this, where your shoulders and your hips are about the same height off the ground, okay? 10 seconds. Keep breathing. All right, you made it. Right on. Doing great, okay. Our next exercise is a side shuffle with a floor touch, okay? So you're gonna do two shuffles, it looks like this. One, two, touch the floor. Come on, nice and quick. If you really wanna challenge yourself, you can stay low the whole time. You'll notice I'm coming out of it a little bit, a little higher up. Just makes it a little bit easier on me. Try to just stay moving, that's the main thing. Okay, next we're gonna do push-ups, but don't worry, there's lots of options. I remember push-ups being so hard for me when I was younger, and that's okay. Your first option is this, 30 seconds of push-ups starts now. That feels great, do that. If you want a bit more of a challenge, come down from your knees. And then of course you can always go from your toes. But I want to see you come nice and down. I don't want anything small like this. I want you coming chest to the floor and coming back up. Good job, quick breather. We're almost there, team. Two more exercises and I'll give you a really nice break, okay? Next one is my favorite exercise, bent row. So grab your dumbbells or your bag and just pull them towards the belly button. It looks like this from the side. Let's go. Good. Squeeze at the top, perfect. Don't rush this. Faster doesn't mean it's harder. I want you to feel a nice squeeze at the top and then resist it all the way down. Make your arms work both ways. Okay, final exercise coming up is a plank. Lots of options, just like our push-ups, okay? So you can go from your elbows and your knees, starting now, 30 seconds. Or you can come up on your toes, or you can do a high plank, whatever works for you, okay? Draw that belly button in. See, nice and strong. After this, you get a huge break, so hang on for me, okay? No letting anything sag, and no high hips. Straight line, right from your ankles, right through your head. Almost there. Whoo! Nice. All right, all right. Okay, you get a full 40 second break here, so grab a drink of water, relax, catch your breath. Good news is we're just gonna do each of those exercises one more time, and then I have a really good stretch for you, and that's all we have to do today. So we're halfway done all the hard work. Isn't that awesome? All right, grab that drink. Do you guys remember? We started with squats. So if you found your object too light, now is the time to add in a little bit of weight before we get going. And uh, yeah, just challenge yourself. If it was too heavy, obviously, take a little bit out of your bag. Here we go, squats, 30 seconds. Come on, you can do it. Halfway done. I'm proud of you, I know this is hard work. We're making you stronger today. Almost there, three, two, one. Awesome, set that aside. Next we have that crab walk, okay? So take your time, coming down to the ground. Whew, let's go. So, so good today, we're getting stronger, which is gonna help us run faster, jump higher, just move better. Plus we have these movements. We're moving our bodies in every direction, which is so healthy for us. So thank you for all the hard work today. 
Keep going, you got it. Okay, that's our crab walk. Do you guys remember what's next? That's right, touch the floor and jump, or touch the floor and squat. Do what feels good to you. I'm gonna show it with the jump. You don't have to have the jump in. If you're finding this really easy, you can always speed up. Or you can try to jump higher. 10 seconds, come on. Give me your best 10 seconds. What you got? Go, go, go. Good, almost there. Woo, all right, nice work. Okay, bear crawl. Going around the square, just like we did the crab walk. Okay, 30 seconds, here we go. And then sideways. And back. And sideways. Good, 10 seconds. Good. Okay, side shuffles with a floor touch. Take your time, catch your breath. Okay, here we go, two shuffles, let's go. One, two, touch. Keep moving on this one, try to move for the whole 30 seconds if you can. And of course, if you want to challenge, just move really fast. Good, 10 seconds, you got this. Okay, push-ups. If you found the option you chose last time too hard, pick an easier one. Or if you found it easy, pick a harder one. So pick what's right for you. I'll show it from the knees this time. Here we go. Don't rush. A lot of the benefit is in that way down to the ground. Almost there. I know this is challenging. Dig in, you can do it. All right, quick breather. My favorite exercise now. The rows, that's right. Grab your object or your dumbbells and pull up towards your belly button. Let's go. So you'll notice I have a nice arch in my back, no slouching, nice and tall, good curve to my spine, and I pull it up right till it gets to my tummy. Almost there. All right, done with that, set it aside. We have our plank, all right? And then you get a nice rest and we'll stretch. I'm gonna show from the toes this time, but you can go from the knees or a tabletop. Do whatever you can. Last exercise of the day. See what you can do. That's it, 15 seconds. Almost done. Hang on, hang on. Final five seconds, you can get it. You'll get there. All right, nice, you made it. This is the good part. You get a nice little chill out, and then I'm gonna help you stretch. Stretching is really important too. When we stretch, we allow our body to move through its full range of motion, which is so healthy for us. It keeps us from getting injuries. Okay, so when you're ready, we're just gonna sit down. And what I want you to do to start, his legs nice and wide like a V. And I want you to just reach your hands over towards the left. Just gentle, this shouldn't hurt. And pull those toes in a little bit towards your body, okay? Awesome, and do that, but now reaching out far in the front. Breathing nice and deep, don't hold your breath. 
All right, and now take it over to that other side. So what was your favorite exercise today? Okay, I already told you mine. Mine's always the bent rows, so yeah, that was my favorite. Okay, let's come into butterfly. So soles of your feet together or shoes. Just gently, you can apply a little pressure if you want on the legs with the elbows. So in today's class, instead of adding extra cardio in, I've actually added in a little bit of stretching to help us out. So hopefully you enjoy that. Okay, let's take one leg and what you're gonna do is just bring it back behind you, or show it from the side. And you're just gonna stretch and you feel a nice gentle pull on the front of that leg that you have bent. Continue to breathe nice and deep. Fill your belly, fill your chest. Empty your chest, empty your belly. Good. Okay, same stretch, other side. Feels so good. Okay, let's let's um, we're gonna go cat and cow. So we're gonna release any tension we're holding in our spine. So start by rounding your spine up towards the sky, tucking your hips underneath, and up it, bringing your hips to the sky. Let everything pull down in the middle, looking up, and then just go back and forth, nice and slow through each posture. One more time, okay? Perfect, now let's come into child's pose. In child's pose, knees are nice and wide, big toes are together. Sink your hips down and back, and then just walk your hands out in front. One more deep breath here. Okay, coming out of that, bring your hips forward, come into Cobra. So it could look like this for you. If you're really tight, and that's totally okay. Or if you, if you can, you can come all the way up. It should just feel gentle. It shouldn't feel like it's, it's pulling or anything. Just mild, just stretching out your tummy. All right, coming back into child's pose one more time. All right, and then coming back into our cobra one more time. Awesome. Just come up to a kneeling position and I want you to tuck your toes so you're stretching your feet out a little bit and I just want you to stretch one tricep out so bring an elbow to the sky and just gently pull it back to what behind you. Nice. Same stretch other side. All right, and let's open up, opening up the chest and the shoulders. Bring those hands really wide, as wide apart as you can bring them. Breathing nice and deep, relaxing your body.
All right, wonderful. Way to go. Thanks for joining me for this grow workout. I'll see you in the next video, everybody. Have a great day.